working on the wrong mic. Wrong mic. We're gonna be working on the 250 today, so uh, I guess let's pull it out. Now, this is actually off my other 250. I'm waiting to get the replacement handlebar, but for the meantime, I might as well throw on the grip and the grip on that side because I don't prefer the white, but I mean, they were cheap. Now, I'm looking at this clip on nice and straight, good condition, switches, I tested this, it all works. But the bar ends like seized on, so I'm gonna have to try to figure out, I'm gonna get that off before putting the grip on this throttle too, just to make sure everything's gonna work out, but uh, let's tackle that. So, I have to get some Mm, I'm gonna try WD-40, get inside the threads, and then hopefully crack it off. Victory. Look. Ooh. That is, that's just, that's just horrible. Look at the tool I had to make. That was, the drill wasn't cutting it, but we got it off, so the grips are going on. Yes, I'm gonna show you how to put on some driven grips. We got the grip off, we got the bar end off. Give yourself a little soapy water. And then, Want to get them both super wet. That's what you gotta love about driven. Bam, there we go. That was like, what, five seconds? Um, I put these grips on almost all my bikes and they are phenomenal. You can use some grip glue if you want to. I never have, I've never had any problems though, so you be the judge of that. Oh, pun. All right guys, so this was what came off the bike. It's all corroded, stupid flat head. Absolutely ridiculous. And uh, here's the new one, factory Kawasaki. And my most favorite upgrade, an Allen. Whoa. That's one of the best mods you can do for your bike, guys, is put Allens on absolutely everything because they don't strip as easily and they're just more friendly, honestly. They're just, they're just a way better bolt. So for this, just hold your bar in. There we go. Okay. Done, looking fresh. Now let's roll over to the other one. And don't worry, it's purple, it's going away. So with the grips that we just put on the 250, it's not, it's got a lot of purple on it. This was the yellow and purple model from 2002. So, I mean, I've already painted it gray and I'm waiting to get a seat and the handlebar and a couple other small bits here and there. Um, I've been kind of piecing it together over the past like three months, I think. I got it with just a frame, it was just a frame, so it's looking pretty good. Um, but yeah, the wheels I already painted silver because they were purple. But honestly, I think we, I think we could do something better.
This is one of my favorite VHD. It's uh, chemical resistant, which is what you want because you can, if you're doing wheels, it's around. It's around fluid, brake fluid. So, BHD, this is good. And I mean, it's just a better paint than, let's say, you know, classic. I mean, Rustoleum's great, don't get me wrong. But, um, yeah, so let's paint some stuff gold. Why not, right? Now, purple's cool, don't get me wrong. These are great, but we're going gold. I think it'll appeal more to me. Plus, I want to buy gold wheels. That'd just be cool. Oh, if you guys don't know this trick, get a piece of cardboard, pop some holes in it, have the threads poke out, and you only paint the head. So, uh, yeah. Now, see, I could have used some Pro Bolt, either the exact gold. But uh, these are expensive, and I don't want to use aluminum to hold on handlebars. That's just, you, you get titanium ones. I'm pointing to the, you get titanium ones. So, oh. <laughs> smells horrible. But we got some gold. And really, with bolts, you can't be horrible. You can overload with paint because it's a fucking bolt. But, uh, yeah. And see, whenever we pull the bolt out, look how clean the threads are. Perfectly clean. So we'll just pull them away so they don't. And there we go. We'll leave that to dry and uh, pop those back in all the handlebars. So that's how you install grips. I did it on my 250, one of them at least. And um, yeah, we're in the right hat, right? So that's how you do it. I'm not gonna put a bar end on because that's not the actual handlebar for this bike. This is off my other 250. Uh, this one, for some reason, didn't have one. So I'm trying to order one. Um, but yeah, that's how you do it. That's how you install bar ends. And leave it down in the comments below. If this helped you, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna know how to remove grips, use, just use a box cutter, honestly, or go check out my video link down in the description. And I hope you guys have an awesome day. And um, yeah, peace. Got up in my, got up in my